Oh, it's so cute. It's the thought that counts. So I'm gonna make a cute little Halloween charcuterie board. You look so festive. I feel like, like I've got one shot. Like I'm like Eminem right now. You've only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime, you know? Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. As you guys may have seen in the last vlog, I am a bit sick right now. So my voice is a little bit in and out, but um, I took a nice hot shower. I let my hair just air dry. Um, I've been watching 90 Day Fiance and the new Love is Blind. I've just been resting all day and Yar is coming home tomorrow. So excited. So um, I want to bake him something. I also like, I've just been resting all day. So I'm like, I want to do something. So I have the stuff to bake a carrot cake, which is Yar's favorite dessert. So yeah, I want to make him a carrot cake. So I thought we could bake together and it's just such a perfect fall spirit vibe, you know, just makes the house smell good. Yeah. And I'm doing it tonight so it will cool overnight and then I can frost it tomorrow for when he comes home. small issue it's fine I forgot to put baking soda it called for baking soda and powder and I only did baking powder so it didn't rise well actually honestly it looks fine <laughs> like it's not nearly um, like I figured it out halfway through and I'm like oh my god halfway through it being cooked I'm like well we'll see and honestly it looks fine <laughs> and it's fully cooked I did the toothpick test smells amazing and yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and we'll frost it tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next morning and the cake is cooled, obviously. And now we gotta make the frosting. So this morning when I got up, I took the cream cheese and the butter out of the fridge because it needs to be softened room temp. And I think we're ready to make it. So let's make it. It's always in these moments I forget I have a friggin' KitchenAid mixer right over there. <laughs> too late, too late. All right, so this recipe, I don't know why the recipe had so much frosting. I only used like half, but it tastes incredible. Like that frosting is like the best frosting I've ever made, ever. So, yay, here's my cake. Okay, today's cleaning project. I just bought this. Bissell Turbo Clean thing at Target. And I got this Pet Pro Urine Eliminator because if you guys have had a puppy or have a puppy, um, you know that there are accidents and that rug has been through a lot. So we spot clean when there's accidents, but overall it just still kind of smells like pee. So I hope this works. It had good reviews. I bought it at Target. I have never used a carpet cleaner before. But I figured it would be a good appliance even just to have in our house in general. You know, we have all carpet upstairs. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how user friendly it is considering that I've like never done it before. I need some hot tap water, fill it up with water to here, then the formula up to here. And then basically it just says, hold the spray trigger, one pass forward, one pass back then one pass forward, one pass back without the formula. And then like, you'll see the water get dirty. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It seems pretty simple. I've seen some people say to do an extra pass 
with just the water after the formula to make sure it really gets it all up so i might just do that but i don't know <laughs> i don't know i hope i i hope i do okay i'm not sure i feel like i'm not usually great with these kind of things but maybe i have grown water and formula is in click this into place okay it clicked great <laughs> Now let's go for it. Thankfully, Bruno doesn't like appliances, so he will not come near me. Okay, so that only took five minutes and I can just tell it worked so well. Like it smells so good and you can see all of the dirty water down here. Um, as you can see down at the bottom here, it's dirty water. Not as bad as I expected. I mean, like I said, we do spot clean regularly, but it just still had that underlying odor. But this was so easy to use. I think I'm going to do the other carpet in the study. He used to have accents there a really long time ago. He doesn't anymore. But since I have it, I may as well just like go over this rug for the mems. Just so we know it's nice and clean since you don't have issues there anymore. Okay, a little trigger warning. This is disgusting. If you don't like dirty water, fast forward like 30 seconds. But for those who do appreciate, I feel like it's the same as like popping a pimple. Like it's like gross, but like we love to see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm going to link the machine. I bought it at Target. Um, they probably have it on Amazon too. I'll find the best deal. And that's it. Now I have to clean the sink. I should have poured this outside or in the toilet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this machine. I'm officially like an old lady <laughs> because cleaning just gets me excited. There's nothing like a fresh, clean home. Okay, at my Target pickup, I also grabbed some blue icing, Yars' fave color. And I wanna write, welcome home, babe. All right, I should plan this out, welcome home. Bubba. I'm one of those people that will like space everything out wrong on like a sign and then I have no room and I have to jumble everything at the end. Okay, I can do this. Do you like how I just went for it? Oh, it's glittery. Welcome. People who like professionally write on cakes, like I officially don't understand your gift and I already spaced this out wrong, so that's cool. <laughs> Oh, Alex. Wow, this looks really, really bad. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> we'll have to just like put some hearts over here. I really, I don't know why I like thought I could make this super fancy and nope. <sighs> it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> oh God. The little exclamation point, fun. I'm not even gonna put babe because now the ratio is off and I'm just gonna put a nice little heart over here right cute <laughs> oh lord it's fine it's definitely not my vision but it's the thought that counts <laughs> all right and now i am cooking up a lasagna i had sent yar a picture of the one i made for my friend who just gave birth like a week ago and um he was like oh my god he misses my cooking a lot because he's had to just like eat out a lot of the time or just eat really basically um, for the last month so um, I'm gonna make a homemade you know nice home-cooked meal rather um, and he loves my lasagna so 
you already know the drill ground beef adobo italian seasoning garlic powder just like a bunch of seasoning we're going to use the rayo's marinara make a ricotta mixture with egg and a bunch of seasoning yeah so yeah i'm excited he'll be home in i don't know i think three more hours ish um maybe four or five depending on traffic because traffic kind of starts at like i don't know i feel like from two o'clock on there's traffic and he has to go through new york oh so oh, i'm so excited to see him okay how good does this look <clears throat> sorry my voice is in and out looks so good it's 2 30 he'll be home in about two hours so i'm just gonna let this cool and then i don't know if i'm gonna leave it out or put it in the fridge I don't know. I just wanted it to be easy so when he came home, we could just cut it up, heat up a little bit, and eat it. Let's see how our kid. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I this cake is so shallow. How did that come off? Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this. Oh my gosh. All right. So, this is what we look like now. <coughs> I do feel a little bit better today, which is good. Um, I got a couple of packages. I got a new purse for this winter that I've had my eye on forever, and I finally just caved and bought it. I actually bought it uh, on Amazon. It's actually, I guess, from Shop Bop. But I got it on Amazon. I'll link it. Oh, I'm so excited. It is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect size. <gasps> Oh my god, I am obsessed. Oh, it's so cute. So it's um, the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag, but it's in this black Sherpa teddy fabric here. So they have it in like a classic teddy color as well, like a, you know, kind of camel color, taupey. Um, but there's something about the black that I just loved. It's so cute. Oh, this is such a good size this is the small not the mini and it comes with a strap as well because i am just such a strap crossbody girl for the most part when it comes to purses um, and this one has a nice long strap so if you're plus size it will also um, accommodate a longer strap size because i'm very picky about uh having a long enough strap so i'll show you guys how it looks with the strap on oh such a good size i love it it's just so wintry and cute um i have one of these tote bags from mark jacobs in like that really pretty pinky nude color and i love it and i've been seeing the little sherpa ones and i just was like oh yeah i couldn't resist i had seen like kind of a similar one at primark the other day but it just it felt really 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 flimsy like it was gonna just like break right away okay like this and i still have um extra strap i can undo it like if i undid it it would come down to like my knee so this is definitely a plus size friendly bag i think i'm actually gonna tighten strap a bit more so yeah i like it to sit right on the hip oh my god i love it I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but to each their own. I think it is so cute. So yeah, this is gonna be my winter bag. So I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. It feels so nice. And it comes with a little Marc Jacobs dust bag. Really cute. I never use the dust bags. I definitely should, but I don't. I even love the chunky little straps. Oh, and it does have a zipper, so can zipper the top if you want that's nice okay so that is the new purse i got a pr package from pixie so let's see what's in here Ooh. okay so botanical collagen collection so we've got a lip gloss naturally i'm gonna have to put it on mm. it's a nice texture i bought a new freaking lip balm the other day from hemp's i don't know i was a cosmo prof and i needed a, a new car lip balm because i have a car lip balm and lip balm everywhere right so i was like oh i just needed one when i got greta's hair dye so i was just like i'm just gonna grab this it was so bad it was so bad 
and I was like, everyone loves this brand. Maybe it was just a weird one. I don't know. It was one of those lip balms that just like, it's oily and like sits on the top of the lip and doesn't like absorb. And it tasted so bad when it got on my tongue. I was like, oh, it was really bad. And I, I meet very rare chapsticks that I don't like. And then, oh, I really like their sheet masks. These are the volume sheet masks with hyaluronic acid, peptides, and then the botanical collagen. So some face masks. And then we've got a botanical collagen tonic toner. And then we also have the botanical collagen eye serum. Love it. I have no reason to be putting this eye serum on right now, but um, I just really couldn't, I just couldn't resist. It's good because I'm actually getting low on my eye serum. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna clean, uh, clean this little mess up. And oh, after I did the, um, the floor cleaning thing, there is like follow the directions because there is a specific way to clean it after. And I feel like cleaning it after is crucial because like it gets really dirty. It wasn't hard to do or anything, but like make sure, make sure you clean it. <laughs> so yeah. All right, cool. <coughs> I am now gonna clean this up and just tidy up a little bit. I need to see if the rug is like dry so I can put the table back on or maybe I'll just wait till he's home. Um, and I think I'm going to chill a bit because I've actually, I haven't really rested at all today. I've just been like so excited about him coming home. I've just been like, been like doing stuff. Um, but I should probably rest a little bit, but I've just been trying to drink a lot of water. Oh, I didn't take my ginger shot today. I bought uh, these ginger immunity boosting shots. They taste so bad. Like I hate them, but I always take them when I'm sick. I feel like they always help. Ugh. Fine, let me get it, fine. These little suckers, oh, they taste so bad. They're just like, it's not that they taste bad, they're just so spicy. Like the ginger is so spicy, like it's, I have to have a chaser. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. Oh. Ugh. Okay, just, <laughs> Oh my God, I just, I would rather shoot tequila, honestly. Ugh. Putrid, it's just putrid. Ugh. Did these even do anything? Are they really that helpful? <laughs> Many hours later. Did you miss your dad? Did you miss your dad? I know. <laughs> this is our house in a nutshell. So yeah, your dad is home. My boys. Several days later. Two days home and he's already working on the truck again. <laughs> this <laughs> men in their trucks. Yeah. Bruno, did you miss your dad? I wish I had recorded when Yar came home a couple days ago. Bruno freaked out. And now every time Yar will like go outside or have to go somewhere, Bruno's like, where is dad going? Did you miss your dad? Did you miss your dad? Yes, <laughs> that tail, the tail wag says it all. I know. All right, you guys, tomorrow is Halloween. So we are having our friends over tonight for um, just a little like Halloween movie night. We're gonna watch that new Marlon Wayans movie on Netflix. So I'm gonna make a cute little Halloween charcuterie board. I'm still under the weather. Um, so this is like the perfect vibe for tonight. We're just gonna watch a Halloween movie, order some food. Um, and we got more Halloween candy because I don't know why. I just have a feeling we're gonna like get so many trick or treaters. So gotta be ready, gotta be prepared. This will probably go up, I think, the day after Halloween, so you guys will, will find out. So here's what's going to go on the charcuterie board. I got this little spider candy apple pretzels. We've got um, candy corn-shaped gummy candies. Vanilla, that doesn't sound great, but they're cute. Um, some gummy fingers. Fun. Some sea salt caramels. Caramel apple caramel corn. I can't talk. Uh, caramel apple chocolate squares. These fun little eye ice cube tray things. Um, I got some spooky M&Ms. And then these pretzel rods. You know, they didn't have, they had like a decent amount, but they didn't have anything crazy left since tomorrow is Halloween. It was kind of funny though, cause like <laughs> it's Sunday. Tomorrow's Halloween, which is Monday. And I'm in Target and like 
naturally there's so many people there just getting last minute Halloween candy and there's like <laughs> five different kinds left, bare shelves. The Target employees are putting out all the Christmas stuff. It was Christmas, Christmas at Target. Like we need to go and, oh, oh my God, guys. Now when you're watching this, you're in the future. It's November. I'm I'm just gonna say it straight up. Christmas content starts in there. <laughs> um, I might, I don't know. I might put up like one tree in our study room by the window um, because I wanna take our family Christmas card photo, which will be in another vlog, of course. Um, in front of like a tree, I got us matching buffalo plaid pajamas for me and Yar and the dog from Old Navy. So it's gonna be so cute. Uh, and yeah, then we're gonna have to start Christmas shopping because you guys know you gotta shop early. You guys warned me, you're like, remember last year? Remember all the years before where all of a sudden everything is gone so early. That's how it was with the fall decor too. So honestly, after Halloween, it's Christmas for me, honey. <laughs> But, um, you know, when I grew up, I always decorated for Christmas after Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm starting new traditions for me, honey. I usually like to start like mid-November, as you guys know. So I might slowly transition. Like after Halloween, we'll take down the Halloween stuff, maybe leave some fall stuff for like a week or so, and then start to transition into Christmas. Um, because honestly, the Christmas season is just not long enough. I just, I love to look at the decor for as long as I can because it makes my heart so full and to each their own. If you like to wait for your... Christmas decor, pop off, have a great time, live your life. I really, I don't know if that's safe. I wanna put a wreath up here. I feel like I have seen people put wreaths up there in their kitchens. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's make this charcuterie board because, you know, actually it's 12 o'clock. They're not coming over till five. Who am I fighting? Let's take a step back. <laughs> um, I think I should probably rest a little bit. <laughs> I, yeah, this is kicking my butt. Like last night, literally, 11.45. <laughs> I can't stop coughing. We had finished Game of Thrones, not actual Game of Thrones, our episode, at like 11, 11.45 rolls around, can't stop coughing. Yarman literally stands up and goes, I'm gonna go get you cough drops. <laughs> 11.45, drives to CVS to get me cough medicine and cough drops. And that right there, ladies, is a sign not to settle. Get you a man like that. I'm like, you're gonna be great when I'm pregnant because there's going to be a lot of midnight runs for who knows what. <laughs> so, all right, I'll check back later when I make the charcuterie. Well, is it really a charcuterie or just like a candy board? Many hours later. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it is 9.15. <laughs> we watched the Halloween movie with our friends. We watched The Cursed of Bridge Hollow or something. Is that what it was called, babe? Curse of Bridge Hollow? Yes. Uh, something like that. Uh, it was actually really good. <laughs> we watched Hubie Halloween last year, and this was way better than that. Um, it was really good. We actually really liked it. So we had a lot of fun. Um, and my neighbor actually just gave me um, her extra pumpkin. <laughs> So pretty exciting. Um, she had an extra pumpkin, so I'm gonna carve it. And she was so sweet. She even gave me these like extra uh, design carving thingamabobs that you can put on. Um, so I need to pick one to carve. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. 
Halloween is tomorrow, so this is like perfect. That was so sweet because I didn't get to carve this year. So I'm contemplating. I usually just do like a really simple face, <laughs> you know, like triangle, triangle, triangle. This face is kind of cute, but they have like bats and stuff. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. This witch is super cool. I just like, I feel like this is going to come out really bad. <laughs> Because, like, I'm not very good at these kinds of things. I'm very impatient. Um, and she's so sweet. She even gave me her extra tools. Oh, I have the sweetest neighbors. I really do. Um, let's see. She gave me two, two books. So I've got a few other ones here, too. Um, it was funny, though, because um, they heard our family carved the pumpkin on the bottom which is what i saw on tiktok and um they saw it on tiktok too it's so much easier you just put the pumpkin over a candle boom so simple okay this one's really cute this love oh god that looks confusing well does it look confusing i like this one because it even tells you like the numbers of the step-by-step Oh, it says how easy or hard they are. This is a level four out of four. We're gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Oh, no, I kind of really want to. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the hard one. Okay, this tool is fantastic. I reckon this hole is too small. I do love the smell of like a carved pumpkin. <laughs> I do love that smell. There's something about it. It's just like, smells like childhood. Ooh. I'm telling you, I don't care that it's gross. I just love it. This hole is too small. I think this is going to be pretty difficult for you. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. I, th I think it would be pretty difficult for me. Well, I am doing a difficult le level four. I've never done like a carving, like a sketched one. Like I usually just freehand it. Um, not feeling great about it. I feel like like I've got one shot. Like I'm like Eminem right now. You've only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime, you know? This boo is pretty cool. Do you like this boo? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just go for the boo. Cause I'm not fe not feeling confident about this because it's like not flat. <laughs> oh Lord. Stay tuned. I'm really unsure, babe. I think I'm gonna try this witch. The love was too much. It was just too much. I couldn't do it. Her, Is I- Is this any less? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's smaller and this pumpkin, it was, I think this pumpkin was just a little too small for that last one. You know what I mean? Like at least this one, I can really get the details of it in a, in a sense. So this one's a uh, challenge of it's also a level four. I just covered it. Four, just covered it. So my skills will still be tested, but I just think the ratio is better on this. What do you think? Sure. Cause like this whole little circle moment, I could handle that at the end. But right now, first and foremost, we gotta carve her out. We gotta carve her. Wait. You got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna do it backwards. <laughs> like not carve her. Like these are the parts that come out, right? You don't well, know, why am I asking you this? I, no, I don't know. But I, I'm assuming the numbers, one. Where you, you start. First, two, second, third. Okay, wait, ready? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure, like, let's uh, think about this. Yeah, cause she, so yeah, she, and then she's gonna stay in the pumpkin by the, this white part is what holds it all together at the base. So I can't, I cannot cut off the base and the top. What is she riding? One of those like skateboard ball things? That doesn't look like a broom. Is that a unicycle? Is that a modern witch? <laughs> like you know those um scooters people be riding in the cities that it's like a, like, a one cycle. That's what it is, like uh, the little cycle. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you like how I have no chill and I just like went for it? What are they called? I don't know what they're called. It's like a. Um, I know what you're talking about. You remember the hoverboards? Yeah, it's like a uni a uni it's, board. It's like a, a one one wheel hoverboard. I don't have a good feeling about this. I think. I feel like I'm blowing my opportunity. No, 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 no. We're being positive. Hey, in the words of Eminem, just like you said. This opportunity come. Oh, look at her eyes. They're pretty good. Yeah. Look at it. Good job. 
Okay, this is going pretty good. Look at her face. Yeah. Is there a smaller one? No, the same. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So we did the ones. Oh no, no, there's more ones down here. I'm really like, I'm gonna try to follow this. Like, I'm not even getting. You carved that pumpkin. Thank you for your emotional support. She gave me some incredible tools. Like, all of a sudden, I'm questioning all the tools I used as a kid growing up because, like, these are way better. Oh, you're very precise. Well, it's it, these tools. Oh my god, this is amazing. Babe, this is how we're gonna do it with our future children. Well, maybe you could have done the uh, loved one. Now I'm questioning, like, I'm, I'm like, I can do anything now. Okay guys, here is the final reveal of my witch. I wanna get Yar's reaction. I told him he couldn't look until the end. Honestly, I'm pretty pleased. Kind of impressed, not gonna lie. Oh. It's pretty good, right? It is really good. You think so? Yes. Thank you. Wow. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. You can even see her little shoe. Wow. So I won't lie, I... <laughs> It looks like she's flipping everyone off. <laughs> she was supposed to have five fingers and I accidentally cut them off. You know what? I, didn't, re I didn't even realize that until you... Should I cut it? Because it's kind of inappropriate. It looks like she's flying on her broom and flipping everyone I mean, off. <laughs> now, that you said, now that you said that, I can't... Unsee it. it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, if... if Whoever notices it, just... Now you can't unsee it. I'm going to send it to my mom and see if she notices. Yeah. Just send it to a bunch of people and see if they <laughs> mention anything. Okay. All right. Honestly, though, I'm, like, Good really job. impressed. Thank you. Pretty proud of myself. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You got on your little pumpkin sweater. You look so festive. Many hours later. Someone is ready for trick-or-treaters. You waiting for trick-or-treaters, Bruno? Where are they? It's too soon. Too early. <laughs> you wait for them. Are you ready to pass out candy? Are you ready? We got our candy ready. Dad just went to pick us up dinner because Mama doesn't feel like cooking. All right. Let's get ready for the trick-or-treaters. We've got lots of candy update kids are coming it's 5 45 it's gonna be a crazy night i can tell okay vlog checking in we have had a lot of trick-or-treaters it is 7 30 and our friends just came over with um we like we call her our niece but it's our friend's daughter she was dressed as elsa super cute we've got a lot of trick-or-treaters so far we had like one crazy group of like 20 um so <laughs> i haven't added them all up yet but that's our update for now. Sometimes Bruno will come to the door and he gets very excited. You love seeing all the kids in their costumes. I also wanna say I put a scented candle in my carved pumpkin. Huge hit. Everyone that keeps coming up says it smells so good up here <laughs> and they keep noticing it. So pro tip, put a scented candle in your lit carved pumpkins. So. I'm going to end this vlog here because I need to throw these clips in and this goes up in the morning tomorrow. At this point, we do have the 64. It's not 8 o'clock yet, but I what think it's... 64? I added them up. Oh. 64. So, I think that's... I, I think we're going to get a few more trickling in, to be honest. But we'll see. Yeah. So, it was a really, really fun night, though. We got a lot of good kids and saw our neighbors. It was a really good time. So... Um, that's the Halloween vlog, honey. Who's ready for Christmas? No love for Thanksgiving. Uh, we have love for Thanksgiving. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it easy on the Christmas. We're going we're gonna to ease into Christmas. <laughs>
I just love Christmas. Wasn't trying to be a buzzkill. <laughs> just saying. No, we love we love Thanksgiving too. But like, how do you decorate for Thanksgiving? You don't. <laughs> I'll probably leave up some of the fall stuff for another week or two and we'll we'll probably start shopping for Christmas stuff soon as it comes out and just have some fun with it. But I'm totally losing my voice. I love you guys. See you in a few days. <laughs> Bye.